What's up, YouTube? J-Rock today. Like, really good. Um, like this. Can you let me know how, or let YouTube know how you done screwed me today? In all reality, I kind of screwed my fucking self. No, today you Today was somewhat of a, I mean, it's Monday. Kind of like a fucked up day, a little bit, you know, normal Mondays. But I fucked myself because all I was going to do was take out this Rotrex motor here. Okay. You know, kind of smooth take my time and then before you say anything else how many projects do we got going on i can't count them on both my let's hands. take a walk real quick before right, anything let's, I give need them, to let's give let's give let's give them a tour of the shop and don't judge us we have a very clean shop but it looks like sonic's bedroom right now um we have transmission there hold on what does that transmission need i honestly i uh second gear i can tell you what it needs i just don't know what the fuck it's for um, but it needs second gear. I gotta open it up and inspect it. Perfect. This is this is perfect. I need his ass over here. But all right, let's keep going. All right. We also have this trans with an OBX one two. Missing a shift mech needs to go in, right? Yeah. We're going. Isn't that, isn't that the trans that he broke and he missed second? Let's, we're not gonna get into that right okay. now either. Can he missed second. In, right? since, we, since we throw in clips, right? No, we no no. When you guys took my car to the track, no. And let's hear who's missing. I kind of this I, might be the training. Yo, I lost that. I lost that video. I bet you did. I mean, so if you put this training, this is him out of your car. I should slap you, bro. Yo, but hold on. Uh, we're doing a quick tour. Rusty has training in your car. Yo, go go paint this shit. All right, what else, what that was a training from the Midori car because he missed second. I'm not gonna get into that. I don't have none of your I never videos either. Drove the Midori. Yeah, you did. Off camera, you did. No, I didn't. All right, so we'll, let's keep going with this tour. All right, so we got an engine here. Again, I don't even know what the fuck that's going in. We used to have a plan and, and know what motor was going in what car, but these projects keep piling up. And okay, uh, this is all for the red car. Yeah, red car parts. He's still a gas tank. I don't know from what car. And uh, then I bought that gas tank. Okay, and then we bought a shell, right? Bought a shell. Yeah, we bought a shell here. Um, that you don't tell YouTube how you screwed yourself today. Because I said that we could get it running by tomorrow or Wednesday. And now I have to steal one of the engines that we already have for another car. We have to steal uh, basically another transmission because we don't know what train is in here. I hope it's already one of the painted engines that we're putting in here because I don't want to fucking tear down. So who screwed who? So I left for what? I think we we both screwed each other. Over no, no, no. You, were all you two. You, what happened was. The car was going to get sold. No, you, you, and you were all together. And then when that shit. with it though. And Kev, were you with it or not? Yeah, I was with it. He was with it. He I'm, wasn't. He's like, no. So I'm going to save what I won't need to save for the, uh, probably the next video because you done screwed us with something I really didn't want to do. Payback's a bitch, bro. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what other <laughs> we case? Got, we got more motors in here. So we counted what? That's another motor that's two trannies. Don't mind this car, so come on. We got this motor is for the EM1. It's pretty much ready to go in and all assembled. So that's what, one motor over there, so one project. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. When are you gonna have time to put five swaps in cars? If I had all five cars here, I'd probably get it done in one week. Honestly, if all the parts were here. Bullshit you're... if I ever heard bullshit, right? Crazy. No, if all the parts if are all here. all the parts are here and each everything's car, painted like each, ready. Each car would take one day. Yeah. All right, YouTube, you see how this just happened? These dudes was sitting around all day thinking, talking about, oh yeah, we get this car done in one day. We get this car done in one day. Why don't we ever get your ideas the when you, when when you, when you up. I'm trying to help you though. <laughs> why do we have to slow down, honestly? I bought a shell. Record, so right? Yeah, your fucking content takes up half the fucking time. I would, if you don't record any content, I'd be able to get all five done. Oh, so problem. blame it on me. All right, so <laughs> s since we left off in the last video, uh, the engine bay got painted, right? For the Red EG? Yeah. Check that out. And then my lens got fucked up because you guys clear coded all over my phone. So now I have to use Listen, a camera. This is a full blown shop. We're over here working. You know, if you're over here filming, you know, that's on you. You make that decision and that choice. So what happened between the engine bay paint and today? We painted what? Thursday? Or no, we painted Friday. Today's Monday. Yeah, we let it sit for a couple days to kind of cure. And uh, I met and Kev started on it. Yo, Kev, Sunday. did you have anything to do with that shit that happened over there earlier? Yeah. All right, before we show the car, because you two are in on this together, I don't know what the hell happened this week. I was usually one for all the projects, now I'm not. Now it's you two for all the projects, That's right? That's bullshit, because you were like, yeah! <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We got the red hatch here, we're gonna show, show it to you guys. 
You undercoated the whole car, right? Yeah. You didn't because you didn't want to get your face. I was you didn't want to get in the back. You didn't want to get your. I had your, that thing your, to do. Yeah. You didn't want to get. You didn't, didn't want to get your face dirty, right? He had to take an hour shower because of you. That shit was fun. And though. you didn't. Do, you just watched. No, I wish. I, no. <laughs> I wish we had a picture of what his face looked like after he came out of that fucking plastic. You know, like it was yeah. all black. Yeah. All right. So what changed from the engine bay paint till now? Well, put the headlights in. Bumper support on, wrinkle black, uh, OEM corners. Those are SIR corners. Yeah. You guys put the hood on, the hood put shocks. The hood on, put the side skirts back on. You show them the carbon uh, mirrors and the wing that we put on? No, I actually didn't notice that. You got carbon spoon mirrors. You got carbon spoon wing. I actually like it. And then he did the door panels actually. Well, the interior is all apart right now. Red stitching, and he put a Type R shift boot. That's an OEM shift boot. If you guys can see that. EG6 steering wheel. That's actually a nice steering wheel. Yeah. This is nice, got the nice red stitch. The, and I got the armrest done too for the center console. All right, so that changed. Uh, they put a bunch of the stuff back on the car. The hood shocks actually are dope. I need those for my car. No, you can't take them. <laughs> no. no? I'm not with that. We need to have no hood on your car. How about that? No, no. All right, so let's lift this thing out. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like underneath. You show the engine like, quickly. J-Rock. J-Rock. I might see a drip or two, bro. No? That's from his side that he painted. No, no, there ain't no drips on that. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, the, the wrinkle bumper support looks good. It's my boy right there, yo. No, you copy. You see this here at first, but I guarantee it's not the last time. There's gonna be a lot of people copying Yo. this shit. But it came out. You know who rock bumper supports? Non-fast cars. <laughs> Pussies. Non-fast cars. Because if you got a fast car, you don't got one of those shits. You're gonna fucking send it. Fuck that. What's that gonna do? And my intercooler. I got a uh, you know a thousand horsepower intercooler won't fit on there. Nah. And then uh, your all motor car is non-lean, so you can put that shit on too. That means your shit is slow. Not if it's a 10 second car. Tommy was your 10 second car, not me. <laughs> the table's turn. All right, so what happened here? Let's check it out. These are fresh, like super fresh. And you, what'd you say that people leave uh, left out? No, uh, like sometimes like we get a lot of cars here and it's like fucking top of line cars, like fucking clean. And you put up in there and it's like, what the fuck happened, right? Shit on the outside, like no under, not undercoating, no truck bedding, no nothing, just. It looks rough. On so you said they so. forget. Uh, well, up here is where they usually forget, where you did, right? That or underneath here too. A lot of people don't even pull sunscreens out when they do stuff like this. We want to do. This thing is completely stripped underneath here. So I'll give you guys a quick tour. Everything is uh, undercoated. Gas tanks out. Everything's out. Yo, Jared, can you do my car next? Yeah, I gotta go through that thing. No, no, I want my car. I want my car done. This, this is the worst this, so, uh, this is a uh, truck bedding, right? Looks so dope. It looks actually like factory. It's kind of. It's nice and it, it stays hard too. It's not tacky. Yeah, the reason why we use truck bedding is uh, when you use undercoat, it stays like really, really soft and tacky. Yeah, and tacky. Yo, remember when we first learned that, right? We went to the track and then the rock stuck underneath the car. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was a nightmare to take out. Yeah, it sucks that we gotta take it back apart. So what's the next plan for the next couple of days? Because there's too much, shit, there's too much right shit on the other side, right? Way too much shit. So this car is probably gonna sit here till at least Thursday. All right, but the shell is completely ready for everything to go on, right? Yeah. Much, yeah. So this car is ready, basically, to get assembled. Uh, as you guys see, this is how you want to put your cars together uh, when putting your car together. So you gotta basically strip everything down, paint it, undercoat it, and then reassemble. Assembly is a fun part. I can't. A lot of people that. also ask like what um, brand this was. This uh, is Raptor. Raptor truck brand. It's a kit. And it comes with its own spray gun, right? Yeah. So you gotta get a compressor. Yeah, pretty much. So if you don't have a compressor at home, you just gotta do a rattle can, but it's to buy a compressor. If you're doing this type of work, you should have a compressor anyways. Yeah. Yo, Jared, you got a question for YouTube, right? Yeah, so we're still trying to figure out when we assemble the engine bay, like which direction we wanna go with it. Do we wanna do like super clean and like tuck the harness? Uh, what do you guys think we should do? Should we leave the harness exposed or should we tuck it? And the other thing that we wanna know is the hardware for like headlights. Should we do like OEM style or should we do like a cleaner fastener? Something like that for the bumper and stuff. 
We're so, gonna leave the fender screws. What would you do? I know, I know exactly what he would Honestly, do. Honestly, because the uh, fuse box is still gonna be exposed. We have the battery exposed. We have the tray powder course for it. Um, what else do we have? We have a K tune passenger radiator. What would you do as far as? Finally tucked. So I honestly leave the harness exposed and just tuck the engine harness. Well, what about bolts? Bolts? Yeah. OEM silver. What about you? You going? Uh, you with bolts or OEM? OEM bolts or like Downstar bolts? I need to see the car come together a little bit, like suspension on and maybe wheels and just sit there and look at the engine bay real quick. Because I feel like it's going to be, it's not like an OEM plus, so I feel like it has to be. Well, this car tucked. is case swap. I know, but the car is clean. I feel like tucked is, is the way to go. I just don't know about the screws. You know what my question for YouTube is? Which car do you think is going to look better? This car or this car? Which car was, is, is better? I mean, that's factory. That's no, no, it's going to be what? Case swap versus case swap. Oh, you paint the, car too? the what? The update on this one? What's the, the update? Oh no, I didn't. I still only steak dinner. Come check the seats out. Oh, you do the you the YouTube steak? YouTube voter type R. Oh, yeah, you still only steak. Yeah. Oh, now you forgot, right? You don't forgot. I had to do that thing. So here's the update on the EK. Nice type R seats, front and back. Oh, you guys got the back ones in there. Actually, looks really good. It look better with leather cars. So yeah, check out the matching steering wheel for it too. No, YouTube this is, let me down. YouTube, YouTube let me down. YouTube did the right thing. Definitely did the right thing. All right, so which car would you guys take, right? Imagine that car, the K swap finished, uh, bronze TEs. Are you taking the EK? Maybe if the EK had the TEs, then maybe. I'm not a big fan of EKs, but this one right here just hits different. Yeah, okay, which one? Kev, okay, which one are you taking? I'll take it EG all day. You just saying that because you got you helped undercoat it. I said you'll take a Del Sol. I'll take it. I'm taking the black tag because after you guys put the wheels on it, but who's who's doing the swap? All right. So what's the plan for? Um, you said for the next couple of days we're gonna get the suspension out, uh, put everything next to the car. Yeah, we're gonna get the car to the other side of the shop uh, where we'll start assembling it. Probably start with the stuff, the rear, the rear trailing arms and stuff like that, and just work forward. And. I think the motor's ready for this car, right? Yeah, the motor's all assembled, ready to go. I can't keep track, there's like 12 back there. The longest thing it's probably gonna take is wiring and brakes. So the question again is, what are we gonna do with the engine harness, I mean the chassis harness inside the bay, and hardware, and also what should we put for control arms in the back? What color setup, what brand, Function 7, Skunk 2, you know, gold, polish, and uh, let them decide. All right. You got your work cut out for you. You screwed yourself today, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's called job security, baby. Okay, boys, I'm gonna end the video here. Let me know what you guys think of the red hatch, whether we should put OEM bolts or fastener bolts. It's been a super, super long day. So I'll bring you more updates tomorrow. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe.